welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel hello what's up how are you my name is Shara and welcome to my channel for today's video I'm going to be sharing this eye tutorial with you guys it's more of like a warmer toned smoky eye kind of action with a pop of color and the pop of color is definitely one of my favorite pops of color it's just this super pretty green like this emerald green it's so 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 gorgeous for this eye look I'm using a specific palette I'm using it the color pop all I see is magic palette absolutely gorgeous shades in this palette and it's definitely have been one of my favorite lately I've been going back and forth between this one and like the Jaclyn Hill palette lately I've been just dipping into the Jaclyn Hill one a little bit too much so I wanted to switch it up and give you guys a little something something different have to mention obviously this guy because I am going to be using this palette but of course if you do have similar shadows or or if you want to try different shadows but the whole eye look in general just kind of follow it by tutorial then that works as well you don't specifically have to have this palette to create this eye look oh and before I forget if you haven't checked out my giveaway it's in the previous video I will have that link down below as well I'm doing a 10k giveaway just to kind of thank my subscribers and two winners will be involved in that video it's just a bunch of goodies and I definitely had to share it so definitely go check that video out and get in on that giveaway if you guys want to see how I created this look then just keep watching going in with this shade right here I'm just gonna put that mainly in the crease on the lid transition just pretty much get that all over the eye hitting up this shade right here and this is the main shade that we're going to use to smoke out the look and it's just this super gorgeous warm brown absolutely one of my favorite colors from this palette I'm gonna start by just applying it right on the lid and then whatever's left on the outer part of the lid I'm just gonna start blending out and bringing that into the crease and it's just going to give it that gradient look to the smoky eye. And with the blending brush that I was using to blend that out, I'm going to go in with this orange shade right here. Apply that where the crease is and then bring that up into the transition. And this is just going to mix both the shadows together and create that smoky effect as well. Going back in with this brown shade right here and focus that on the crease. Packing more of that brown shade back onto the lid just so we can deepen that a little bit. Going in with this shade right here. It has a very slight shimmer to it, but we're going to bring that in the lower lash line. I'm going to take the flat brush that I used to kind of pack the lid area, and I'm just going to start blending out that lower lash line area. And if you feel like you put too much on, you can always grab a blending brush that has nothing on it and kind of blend all that out and it helps soften that up a little bit. Underestimate the pigmentation in these shadows. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of blend that give it that gradient smoky look like we want right here. Of course it's going to look a little crazy at first but we're going to just blend 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 and kind of mess with it. The key for sure is just blending out any of that harsh line action that we do have going on. Also apply a black liner right on the, the waterline and that kind of helps give it that gradient look as well just so it kind of softens out. With the detailer brush I'm just going to smudge and make sure that we blend out that line just so it softens up. I'm going in with this highlighting shade right here and we are going to highlight that brow bone and then going in with a blending brush soften that highlight right there help blend that out with L'Oreal's voluminous lash paradise put some mascara on my lower lashes time to apply the lashes I'm going in with red cherry lashes in Berkeley and I absolutely love these lashes this is like one of the few brands and one of the few types of uh, styles that I like that has a black band. I'm usually into like the visible ones because that definitely feels way better on my eye since I do have smaller eyelids but there's something about this this lash that I absolutely love. Of course it just looks super pretty but the band is is where it's at. I'm really digging the band for these. I'm just gonna line my upper waterline then going back in with 
the L'Oreal Mascara to bind my falsies and my real lashes together. For the pop of color, I'm going in with NYX's Mermaid. A small detail brush. I kind of just eye where I want the color to go and just apply it. The trick is to apply it with a finger just because the finger warmth just kind of helps bring the pigmentation out. So you kind of see where you can want it. You can totally tell that this inner corner is way more like brighter and there versus this one using the brush. That's because I went in and used my finger to help brighten that area up. And you can just totally see like right from the get go how it just gets in there and makes that shadow pop. If you are wondering what lip I am using, it is Lime Crime in Riley. But here's the final look. Like this video if you enjoyed the eye look, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd greatly appreciate it. I do upload videos twice a week or have been trying to upload them twice a week but always something gets thrown at me but you will definitely get a video at least once a week but I just wanted to quickly share this eye tutorial with you guys and I hope you guys definitely enjoyed it I'll also list my Twitter my Facebook page my Instagram my vlogging channel all that will be right here and everything will be listed down below as well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye